Hey guys, in this video, I'll walk you through the process of setting up a Google Analytics account and how to integrate it with WordPress using my top favorite analytics plugin. So with this setup, you get a better glance at your website's traffic stats and make better data-driven decisions for your business. So to get started, let's head on to analytics.google.com. Now it's required for you to get a Gmail account for you to be able to proceed with this. And if you don't have one, just head on to account.google.com and from here you can move on to create an account. All right, heading back to Google Analytics, let's move on to create a property. So I'm just going to click on start measuring to get started. And in this field, you'd want to put in your account name. So something you can actually associate with. So I'm just going to put in Victor Chinedu. And right here we get the option to determine what we want to share with Google. So I'm just going to check all boxes and move on to the next step. And for the next step, we get the property set up. In this field, I'm just going to put in my name. And for the reporting time zone, I'm just going to choose Nigeria since I am in Nigeria. And for its currency, I'm going with USD. But before clicking the next button, let's select the show advanced options. So Google actually introduced a new version of Analytics called Analytics 4 or GA4 for short. And it's been announced that the Universal Analytics will be discontinued from July 1st, 2023. Now heading back, by default, Google creates the GA4 account. But the problem is at the time, GA4 accounts are not supported by most WordPress Analytics plugins. So I recommend creating both GA4 and the Universal Analytics account so they both start taking measurements prior to when they are. So to create both GA4 and the Universal Analytics property, let's toggle this on. And we just need to put in our website URL into this field. So I'm just going to open this up and copy this without the HTTPSS. Head back and I would just paste that in here. I want to make sure this is checked to create both GA4 and the Universal Analytics property. And once all is set and good, let's click on next. The next step is to tailor your measurement experience by supplying Google Analytics with this information. So starting out with the industry category, I'm just going to click on that. And for this illustration, we'll go with business and industry. And for its business size, we want to go with 1 to 10 employees. And for the last option, it says, how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? So I'm just going to tick all desired parameters. And once you're done with that, just click on the Create button. And we'll be required to accept the Google Analytics Terms of Service. So I would just search for my country and accept Terms of Service and scroll down to accept this as well. And click on this to accept the Terms of Service Agreement. And once the property has been created, this web stream interface should be the next thing you see. So this is a brief of the enhanced measurement parameters you now get access to. And you can click on this settings icon to take a proper look at the parameters to be measured. And if for some reason you wish to disable any, you just need to toggle that off with this. And if all looks good, just click on the save button. So that wraps things up for setting up the Google Analytics account. Now let's move on to connecting this with our website so you can visually get to see your analytics right within your WordPress dashboard. So there are two ways you can go about this. One will be using a plugin and the second will be inserting this global site tag to the header section of your site. And if you use other CMS platforms like Shopify, Squarespace, Magneto and the likes, you can click on this link for further guide on how to go about that. But since we're using WordPress, let's head on to our website's backend. And from here, let's move on to install the plugin called Analytify. So I'm just going to hover over plugins, add new, and search for Analytify. And once that comes up, this will be the plugin you want to install. So I'm just going to click on install now, and then activate. Now, once the plugin has been installed, you should find this notice at the top that says connect Analytify with your Google account, or you could actually hover over Analytify and then select settings. But let's go through this route. So I'm just going to click on connect. And you'll be asked to opt into some data collection. I'm just going to skip past that. And right here, you'd have to put in your GA tracking ID. So head back to your analytics account, and I'm just going to scroll all the way to the top, and I'm just going to copy this. 
and then paste that into this field and then click on save changes and with that you should get rid of the notice at the top now the next thing you want to do is to authenticate your analytics account with this plugin so i'm just going to click on this to begin the authentication and we want to select this and this is actually a very seamless process so you don't necessarily have to do much and from here you want to click on allow and that's basically all you need to do and right here you want to make sure this is toggled to yes to install the tracking code so instead of having to insert this code into the header section of your website the analytics plugin actually does the job for you now heading back to our website's back end right here we have the option to exclude users from tracking so if you wanted to exclude editors, you can do that here by clicking on that and then that gets added. So with the administration rule being selected by default, you'll be excluded from being tracked by this plugin, which is quite ideal because you'd want to measure the behavior of your audience, not yourself. Now moving on to the next section, let's select the property we created earlier from Google Analytics. And you want to do the same for the dashboard by selecting all websites data. And that's all we need to do for the profile tab. So I'm just going to click on save changes. And for the admin tab, I will leave it all set to default. But if you wanted to know more about the settings here, you can just hover over these icons for more information. These other options underneath are quite self-explanatory. So you can just make adjustments however way you seem fit. So this next tab will be where you want to take a deep dive into your start analytics. But truth be told, the light version has quite a number of stats which we'll be taking a look at in a minute. So if you wish to upgrade to the pro version, I'll leave a link in the video description where I earn a little commission of your purchase at no additional cost to you. So that's supporting me as a creator to keep making videos like this. Moving on, under the email tab, you can set up email reporting from this plugin to keep you up to date with your website start via email. And for the sender email address, I'll advise using the administrative email address under general settings or at the very least, a custom email address associated with your website, even if it doesn't exist. And this field is where you put in your receiver's info. And if you wanted, you could add more than just one. So let's save and test this to see if it's set up properly. And this is pretty much how the email looks like. Heading back under the advanced tab, you would want to make sure this is set to gtag.js and these other options you can explore yourself. Now let's take a look at the analytics dashboard by clicking on this. And that's pretty much it. So from here you can take a proper look at your site's analytics and you might have to give it about 24 hours to begin displaying your site's stats. To get more features of this plugin, including real-time live stats, you can head to the URL victorchinado.com forward slash stats to get 40% off your first purchase. And if you got value from this video, a like would be much appreciated. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one. So if you'd like to see the real-time live stats on your Google Analytics account, just to make sure everything has been set up properly, you can head back to Google Analytics. I'm just going to close this. And let's select this and we'd want to select the universal property and then all sites data. And just give it a couple of seconds. And right here we can see real time live stats from the Google Analytics dashboard. But of course, you'd have to open up a new tab for you to be able to see that. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. And that's a wrap.